With the sheer amount of history that West Virginia has, it is no surprise that there is no shortage of hauntings and spooky tales to surface from the state. For years, residents and tourists have reported paranormal activity from across the land, with some more notable than others. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary haunted places in West Virginia. Let's jump in. Coming in at 5, West Virginia Penitentiary. Opened all the way back in 1875, the West Virginia Penitentiary in Moundsville is said to be one of the most haunted prisons in the states. The first building constructed on the site was the North Wagon Gate, which was made with hand cut sandstone. The state used prison labor during the process and work continued on this first phase up until 1876. Following completion, the prison consisted of the North Wagon Gate, North and South cell blocks, a kitchen, dining area, hospital, and chapel. Apple, as well as a four story tower connecting the two administration buildings. The prison also included space for female inmates and personal living quarters for the warden and his family. Once the prison opened, it housed 251 male inmates, including some who helped construct the prison where they were incarcerated. The condition of the prison worsened throughout the years, and the facility was eventually ranked as one of the top 10 most violent correctional facilities. On Wednesday, November 7th, 1979, 15 prisoners escaped from the prison one of them being Ronald Turney Williams who was serving time for murdering Sergeant David Lilly of the Beckley Police Department. He managed to steal a guard's weapon and reach the streets where he encountered 23 year old off duty state trooper Philip S. Kesner who was driving past with his wife. Kesner attempted to take action against Williams but he was shot in the process. The prison was home to riots, fires and nearly 100 executions during its time in operation. To this day visitors have reported sightings of phantom inmates and a shadow man and wandering the premises, as well as unexplained voices and cold spots. You can take tours around this haunted penitentiary and even view the electric chair dubbed Old Sparky. For you brave souls out there, you can also do an overnight session if you dare. Coming in at 4, North Bend Rail Trail Tunnel Number 19. North Bend Rail Trail is located in Ritchie County in West Virginia and is a favorite for hikers, cyclists, and horseback riders traversing the 72 mile long trail. However, proceed with caution if you wind up in the area particularly around tunnel number 19, also known as the Silver Run Tunnel. History goes that on one foggy evening in 1910, an engineer spied a young woman in a flowing white dress standing on the tracks. He brought the train to a stop, but when he searched for the woman, she had vanished. He wasn't the only one to spot her either, many of his predecessors had as well. No one quite knows the origin of the woman in white, although some bones were found under a house near the tunnel. Some people say you can still spot her. Now, those who explore the tunnel are advised to bring a flashlight even during the day, with the tunnel being over 1,376 feet long, which is beyond sunlight's reach. You have been warned. Coming in at three, Droop Mountain Battlefield. On November 6, 1863, the Battle of Droop Mountain occurred in Pocahontas County, West Virginia during the American Civil War. Confederate forces engaged but failed to prevent Union forces under General W. W. Averill from a rendezvous with other federal troops in a joint raid on Confederate railways. Droop Mountain was one of the largest engagements in West Virginia during the war and essentially resulted in the Confederate collapse. The battle the battlefield site is now preserved and administered by West Virginia as a state park, and the unknown Confederate dead are buried in the Confederate Cemetery at Lewisburg. A wooden observation tower, hiking trails, and picnic tables mark the grounds where the Civil War soldiers fought, died, and some say still remain. Many visitors have reported sounds of galloping horses and sightings of the ghosts of headless Confederate soldiers, as well as one soldier lying asleep against a tree. Coming in at two, Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. In the late 1700s, the Clay family moved to West Virginia, which is presently known as Mercer County. The Clay family, comprised of Mitchell and his wife, settled on an 800 acre farm and raised 14 children. However, in 1783, tragedy struck while Mitchell was out hunting. A few members of the Shawnee tribe killed two of the clay children and burned another at the stake. In retaliation, Mitchell hunted down a handful of Native Americans and killed them. The land in turn became unoccupied for years, up until the early 1900s when Conley T. Snyder purchased the land and built a small amusement park on it. However, the amusement park had just as unfortunate luck as the clay family. 
family. The park featured a ferris wheel and a swing ride and was popular among locals, particularly families of coal miners who resided in the area. In the early 1950s a young girl on the swing ride was killed when a truck delivering sodas accidentally backed into the ride, striking her. Another child also drowned in the swimming pool which was subsequently filled in to prevent further accidents. During its operation at least 6 people died at the park, which resulted in the park ultimately closing in 1966. In 1985 Gaylord White, a former employee of the park, purchased the land with plans to reopen it. It happened for a brief period that is before the park closed again after a 1988 archaeological dig uncovered numerous Native American artifacts, as well as human remains on the property that had been buried prior to the arrival of the Anglo-European settlers. In total 13 skeletons were uncovered, mostly of young children. Perhaps the property is cursed or perhaps it's just a series of unfortunate events. Who knows, but one thing is for sure, it is one of the most haunted places in the entire world. And finally coming in at number 1, the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. The Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, also known as the Western State Hospital, was a Kirkbride psychiatric hospital that operated from 1864 to 1994 by the government. Originally built by Richard Andrews, it was constructed from 1858 to 1881 and was originally designed to hold 250 people. However, it became overcrowded in the 1950s with the hospital housing 2,400 patients, resulting in it being forcibly closed in 1994 due to changes in patient treatment. Following its closure, it was then purchased by Joe Jordan in 2007 and is open for tours and other events to raise money for its restorations. During tours of the facility, witnesses have reported door slamming, shadowy figures, and even blood curdling screams from within the building walls. The asylum has garnered such a spooky reputation, it has appeared on shows such as Ghost Stories, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, and Paranormal Lockdown. It was also featured in Bethesda's 2018 video game Fallout 76 under the name Fort Defiance and acted as a base for the Brotherhood of Steel, one of the game's main factions. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any haunted places that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, as well as what place you would like us to tackle next. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later.